guys, welcome back to Kara's Cakes. If you're new here, um, normally I make cake videos, but I've been making vlog style videos lately because I've had to put cake making to the side. I have a new job and I've been trying to concentrate on that. I haven't been taking cake orders or anything like that. So I did want to do a vlog this week and just do a little update. The last video that I posted on my channel was a Halifax vlog and I did have to go to Halifax for uh, work training and it was for 10 days. So I was up in Halifax for 10 days and I vlogged the whole thing. I did put the part one up, but I didn't post the part two. I didn't even edit the footage or anything. And now I feel like it's a little bit too late to post it. So I'm probably not gonna post the part two. A lot has gone on between then and now. So I think we're just gonna start fresh and just go with a new video. In between then and now, um, all I was doing was working. Uh, it came up on to Christmas time, and then then I ended up getting sick with, we're just going to call it the vid, because I don't want to get demonetized. If I say the word out, I think, if I say the word right out, I think I might get demonetized. Not that I make that much money, but if I'm only posting a video once a week, I don't want it to become demonetized. <laughs> yes, I was sick, um, and it wasn't fun because I got it because I tested positive for it on Boxing Day. And then I was scared I gave it to my whole family. And it was just not fun. But I have isolated for my 10 days and I'm back to work and everything now. So grateful that I am okay after it. And yeah, so it is January 11th today and this is my second day off. Yesterday I slept until 2.30 p.m. because I was back shift the night before. And that is the latest that I've slept after a back shift. Yesterday all I did was some cleaning things and then Seamus and I went for a drive in the car. And then yesterday after we went for the drive, I just watched YouTube videos and relaxed for a little bit. Um, I've been watching Disney vlogs. I don't know if anybody's a Disney fan out there, but Seamus and I went to Disney in 2018 and I've been to Disney twice when I was in high school. So I'm kind of obsessed with it, like unhealthily obsessed with it. And I watch Disney vlogs all the time and just dream about going to Disney World. Sometimes I just plan Disney trips for fun online and don't just don't actually book it. So that's what I do with my spare time. I book fake, I book fake Disney trips just to see how much it's gonna be. Anyways, I do have to get a gift for somebody. That's why I'm going into Winners. I only have to go into two places, hopefully. Um, very careful sanitizing and whatever there's a lot more cases these days so I'm just gonna be careful I have to go into winners and maybe Michaels and then I'm gonna come right home all right so I'm just leaving the mall and I did get the few things that I needed um, I will show you them in a little bit but right now I'm just running to the vet to get um, Chip's proof of vaccination printed off so I can send him to daycare. Um, he hasn't been able to go because he didn't have his board to tell a vaccine, so he got that. We waited the two weeks and now he should be able to go. So I got the papers that I needed from the vet. So I remember that there's a place across from the hospital where I used to work that sells um, little personal sized pies, like chicken pie, beef, turkey, and a couple other um, flavors. But, um, and I called my dad to see if he wanted one because I know my mom's at work, um, so he's in. So I got one for my brother and his wife and Seamus as well. So I'm, I have the bag of pies here and I'm headed out to my parents' house for lunch. Okay, so I'm home now. I didn't film anything when I was at mom's, but um, I brought Seamus home a pie. So I just wanna show you kind of what it looked like. Just a little individual pie. They're so good. I got Seamus this one. The turkey ones don't have onion in it, so he doesn't like onion. Got him that. And at the mall, I got this at the bookstore. I saw it on TikTok, Local Woman Missing. I do have another book on the way. I read the book, um, it's called The Night She Disappeared by Lisa Jewell. Um, and I ordered another one from her called uh, and then she was gone. I think that's what it was called. I just wanted to have a book to read at work in case it doesn't come in in time. So 
on a back shift when it's not busy, I like to read something. I find it passes the time. Yeah, so got that. And then I went to Bath and Body Works because I think these plugins only last a few months. I have one over there and it stopped. It stopped working. Like it doesn't smell and and there's still a little bit of um, oil in the bulb. So I got two of these just to put in the kitchen. And then the bulbs were like five, four, what was it? Anyways, there was like a deal, five, four, whatever. Five for 27 maybe, I don't know. So I got a eucalyptus mint, two Prosecco and peach, and two limoncello. So, probably put those in the kitchen. And then I went to Winners, our friend's baby. So like my friend's, my friend's brother and his wife just had a baby. And I'm going to take pictures of him tomorrow. So um, I just wanted to get a few things to bring. I got these little onesie things and um, little 12 pack of baby face cloths. And then I got these Disney, these Mickey pacifiers. I thought it was funny because it says that's not my parrot. And um, his mother actually has a parrot and I thought it was funny. And then I got this little basket to put everything in. I think this color wood is the same color wood that is like the baby's crib and everything. So um, maybe it'll match. And if it doesn't, then they can use it in a different room. And then I just got a card. And then I got these for them. The parents um sour candies and chocolate peanut butter cups so i'm gonna put all that in like the basket and give it to them when i head over tomorrow also i should have took a video when i was in the dressing room but i tried on um, a couple things at winners so i'll show you what they look like this is just like a pinkish long sleeve um t-shirt it's like ribbed and yeah thought that was nice and that was $16.99. And then I got this fuzzy pink sweater. And this was $29.99. It says, um, it still has the Nautica tag on it. Like the original price was $69. And I got it for $29. So... It's just a pink quarter zip sweater. It's a fleece. The last thing I got is this sweater. It's like very nice material. It's from the brand Aurum, A-U-R-U-M. And I don't think it has the original price on for that, but I got it for $29.99 and it's comparable. It's comparable at $50, but it was in the athletic section and it's just a really nice, uh, material it's like a minty minty green or like a sea foam green color and has like a cowl neck and then the sleeves are like this and yeah there's like little zippers at the front i thought it was cute and that's all i got so i'm gonna make up that basket now and put these things in my closet i'm just gonna save the receipt there in case I changed my mind about those sweaters. And last night I actually um, organized under the kitchen sink and I took everything out and I threw some things away. So I'll insert that footage here of me organizing under the sink. guys it's now wednesday january 12th i forget what i filmed last but um this morning i did some cleaning just got in the shower and got changed and i'm just getting stuff ready to go take pictures of my friend's new baby and 
um, I made up this little gift basket you saw and I just added this plastic. And then um, when I took pictures, when I took newborn pictures of my friend Jenna's little baby, we used this basket and put some soft blankets inside. So I'm bringing that with us. And I have my camera here. So I'm just, um, I'm not going over there till a little after two when it's only one o'clock now. So, so the other day in the mail, we got coupons for chef's plate and we haven't tried chef's plate before. We used to do good food when I lived at my mom's house. And Seamus and I used to get HelloFresh here. No. So I used the coupons and it was like 60% off for the first week, 50% off for the second week. And then it went down from there. But we got this chef's plate box here. It does look smaller than the boxes I was getting from HelloFresh. Um, and there should be three meals in here because... I chose the option for the two meals a week, but then I added an extra one on this week, I'm pretty sure. So let's open it and see what's in here. So it does come with everything in the bags, just like good food does. So this one is the butter salmon. This one is cheeseburger pasta. And then I got sesame crusted chicken fingers is the third one. And then in the bottom here, pop me in the fridge. So I'm going to open it and see what's in there first. And then in the bottom, there is some garlic. And then the recipe cards as well. Okay, so we made this one for supper, it's the cheeseburger pasta. The sauce was really watery, and in the steps it did say that it was going to thicken, and it didn't. But anyways, it kind of just looks like cheeseburger pasta soup, and I didn't want the pickles in mine, so I just put them on top of Seamus's like that. Hey guys, it's Thursday. Nothing too exciting happening today. It's my last day off before I go back to work tomorrow. And this morning I took Chip for a walk and my book that I was waiting for came in the mail. So that's good. Now I just got my workout clothes on and I'm headed out to my mom and dad's because they have a treadmill. So I wanted to go for a walk, but it's so icy outside. So I'm gonna head over to their house and walk on the treadmill for an hour while I watch one of my shows. I also put in a grocery order online at Superstore because um, we do have the chef's plate food for suppers, but we don't have, um, we're running out of certain things. Like I don't have any fruit or anything for breakfast or we didn't have any milk and stuff like that. So I put in an order and that is for pickup at three o'clock and it is now five to one. But I feel like Superstore is pretty good. Um, to let you pick up a little bit early so once I'm finished at mom and dad's on the treadmill I'm gonna call them and see if I can pick it up a little bit early okay so I'm back from my parents house I ended up walking on the treadmill for like an hour and I watched um, an episode of Riverdale if anyone else watches Riverdale are you all caught up I'm only like four or five episodes behind but like it's just getting weirder and weirder and like I can't stop watching it because I have to know what happens but I don't know Anyways, I did that and then I watched a couple YouTube videos and I called the grocery store to see if I could pick up my groceries a little bit early and they said yes. So I'm just gonna show you what I got. I got some milk. Don't come at me. I don't drink almond milk. I only have milk sometimes in cereal if I have it maybe. Um, yeah. I got two bags of this Skinny Pop popcorn. It was on like offer if you got two. I got these bagels. When I was in isolation, Seamus and I were on a bagel kick. He likes the cinnamon raisin ones and I usually get the everything ones. So I'll put those in the freezer and then we can eat them whenever and they won't go bad. I got these two frozen pizzas. Um, they're the really thin crust ones and if we don't have anything else to eat, we'll usually pop one of those in the oven. Two yellow peppers because I might start cutting these up and having them with cream cheese as a snack. Okay, so I bought this Philadelphia whipped chive cream cheese. I think it's meant to be put on bagels and stuff, but I'm not sure. I was putting one of these laughing cow cheese on my bagels 
and then I was like, I could be putting cream cheese on them, but I got it to try. And I got this big thing of blueberries. <clears throat> I got some bologna. Seamus and I will sometimes have this for supper or breakfast if we don't have anything else. I needed deodorant and I couldn't find the kind that I normally get. So I just got this secret deodorant, nothing crazy. Seamus wanted Raisin Bran, but I couldn't find any. So this seems similar. I got this everything bagel seasoning. Got some red seedless grapes. They are huge. Look how big those are. Anyways, got some of those. I needed some toilet bowl cleaner, and this is the stuff that I use for that. I got these Smart Sweets gummies. I don't know if we've tried these ones. These are newer. Um, there's only three grams of sugar in a pack. So I got those to try. Bunch of bananas, a cucumber, and then I got this uh, trail mix. And Seamus likes one that's like barbecue flavored, but I like this one. It has little bits of chocolate in it. So I got that. Okay guys, so I'm making supper, and yes, it's only 10 after 4 and I'm in my pajamas, because why not? I'm not going anywhere else, it doesn't really matter. Anyways, so, making a chef's, another chef's plate thing, it's Indian inspired butter salmon, and I'm just getting all of my ingredients out of the little bag here. Okay, so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Horrible lighting, but I'm sitting at my desk and I'm just going to write in my planner and maybe watch a couple things on YouTube. And then it's only six o'clock, but I don't plan on doing anything really exciting before I go to bed. So uh, I'm just gonna hang out for a bit and then head to bed. And I have to get up at five for work in the morning. Um, yeah, so thanks so much for watching this vlog. I know it was probably boring because I didn't do too much, but if you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Scroll down to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from me. Thanks for watching.